everyone. Welcome back to Shannon Gibson Art and Design. And for those of you who are new, as usual, I'm always so happy you stopped by. And hopefully after the video, you'll consider joining the artistic family. So what I've got here today, guys, is I've already flooded the canvas. It's a four by six back stapled canvas with acrylic flow white as the base. And I'm just doing something very simple. Sometimes simple is best. Um, with lots of times like less is more. So what I have here is this absolutely, let me see if you guys can, I can capture it. It's, it, it's absolutely gorgeous. And it's Deco Art Americana multi-service metallic silver. And the last time I used, and the first time I've tried Deco Art um, Americana metallic. Do you see it? Just thought maybe that would help you guys see. Hopefully in the close-up you'll be able to see it because it's beyond stunning. We all know my go-to is the premixed, but the shimmer and shine in this is just uncanny. Like it's it's absolutely unbelievable. So I am using that along with the white and along with my black. As usual, guys, a lot of times I will tell you the paints I'm using. Um, but if I don't do it, I always have a description of my paint and pouring mediums and ratio. And let me just touch on that really quickly about the ratio. I always put one-to-one -one water for consistency. But what you guys have probably learned from many different artists, I can tell you that, but it's still never exact. So honestly, and I will get into this when I do how I mix my paints in the tutorial and stuff at some point soon in the future, but always remember, it's really your pouring medium and your mixture, I should say, that ends up working. It's whatever works for you best. And when I say water, that could be 10 drops. That could be, you know, 10% extra or 20%. It varies for each paint, each brand, each time. So even though it looks like my pouring mediums are identical as a one-to-one -one ratio, Liquitex Gloss Pouring Medium, water for consistency, it is different in each paint that I use using that ratio, if that makes sense. I can have more water in one than the other, but I do put the same amount of pouring medium in it. It's the water that I adjust when I'm using Liquitex Pouring Medium. It is different when I use Zinser, which is an extender, which obviously is a medium to the sense that it helps your paint flow essentially, but it's uh, an extender more than anything. So um, I just wanted to mention that to you guys because I have had questions about that and I have seen lots of questions posed on my acrylic pouring group. So I thought that I would answer that. So let's go ahead and get started. This is just gonna be very simple. I'm hoping it comes up really classic. I think I might wreck it. I'm not sure, you guys know me, sometimes I'm on the fly. And being an artist, creativity pops into my head at times. And um, I think I'm doing one thing and then I'm doing another. I'm going to go in with the white first. Then I'm just going to add in a little bit of black. I don't want too much charcoal. Then I'm going to go in very lightly. And I mean lightly with the silver. Because when I use that champagne with by DecoWork, same type of paint. Wow, Zers.
Okay, fam. Do you see it? So gorgeous. It's literally glitter. Glitter paint. Great lines. Gorgeous movement in this. I love where the cells popped up. I know this sounds odd, but even though there's no colors besides the black in the universe, it does give me somewhat of a galaxy feel. For some weird reason, it does. I know art is in the eyes of the beholder, but I see that. In some way, I think it's this here. Let me know in the comments if you guys see it too. But I just love that gorgeous patch of sparkle. Of course, you guys know I love my sides. I love all of those ring lines there. Yeah, I really love it. It turned out well. A very nice monochrome ring pour. Didn't feel the need, guys, to actually um, wreck it because it was beautiful at the beginning. So usually I have to go on the fly with that. If you guys have followed me, there's many times that my intention was to do a comb swipe, wreck a straight pour, ring pour, never did it because it was just too beautiful. But as always, guys, thank you so much for sticking with me. We're well on our way to uh, 700 subscribers and then next milestone to be 1,000. So if you liked this video, I'd really appreciate you supporting my channel, giving it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to share and definitely leave a comment with any suggestions or questions that you guys may have. Thank you so much, guys. I'm wishing you well. Take care during this time and I will see you in the next pour. Bye.